Hey, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here, and I'm going to share with you some thrift store footage here, guys, from when I was a little bit healthier. So I have not been feeling well the last few days, and I'm going to keep the speaking portion short due to that. I'm not going to show all of the live picking for this day of thrift store runs that I did, but I will show you a complete recap of everything I buy during today. And then I'm going to show you some bonus bin sale footage from a trip that I never really had the chance to share with you guys. And uh, that's what we'll do today. So I did grab these Keens. Uh, they were kids though. I typically don't buy those, but I figured why not? They're, I think, two or three bucks. I did pick up those Nike Oreos there for, I think it was $5. Not everything you see in the cart is stuff that I actually end up getting. This GameCube controller was missing the dongle, but I think they had like $2.99 on it, so I did pop on that. Yep, there there we go, $2.99. Into another store here. So that putt putt bumpity race has no solds and like 10 listed, so I did end up putting it back. I've already sold that candle. We've got the Scooper Pro there, and uh, this little nativity scene is pretty cool. And I do end up buying more than you see, so I'm going to go ahead and share all of that with you guys as well. I do pick up this skillet here. It's in pretty great shape, actually. All right, guys, so here is everything that we picked up at mainly Goodwill today. I've got this Cheetos Windbreaker. It is new, modern. It's 2020 tag in there, but it's pretty cool. Um, we ended up with this, what is it, Icebreaker. I almost want to say freeze gear, which makes no sense. Icebreaker, <laughs> zip up there. We ended up with this nine-piece nativity set, set, set at $9.99. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. And I like how it's in the padded packaging like that. That's gonna help when it comes to shipping. Looks fancy. I got the Scuba Pro Twin Jets here, and they're kind of comped all over the place, guys, but I'm thinking that we'll be able to get maybe uh, 50, 60 bucks out of them. So I don't think it's that bad. I thought this was super cool. Nintendo Wavebird controller, maybe worth about $30 shipped in this condition without the uh, dongle, but it does turn on, so that's good. Woo -woo. We do have that going for us. And then I've got this candle here, it's brand new, and it is the Falling Flurries uh, Bath and Body Works candle. I did pay up for it five bucks, but brand new candle, self 25 bucks shipped. We make a little bit of a profit. I'm happy. I was super thrilled. Ended up with this great shoe haul. I haven't had a thrift shoe haul like this in a long while. I'm not gonna go with uh, trying to pronounce this brand. I've never flipped it before, but I was familiar with its existence. And uh, these boots are practically new, guys. Got these Kings here and uh, Keen boots for $5 all day long definitely gonna pick those up got these little uh like uh smaller women's timberlands and uh for five bucks i'm gonna go for it i think we're gonna get maybe like 30 bucks for those i'm not sure ended up with these rock ports and i think they're in great shape for five dollars so yeah and we ended up with these keens here practically brand new I didn't even know they were Keens until I picked them up and saw on the side. And I was like, yeah, we're definitely picking those up. We ended up with these little baby Keens. They're tiny. Um, I, these are only like $2.99, by the way. The kids' shoes are cheaper. I don't typically buy kids' shoes, but Keens, I mean, come on. And these I picked up at a different store, which you saw. Uh, these Nikes here for $9.99. And I think they should be about $50, $60 shoes. So not terrible at all. Uh, what a great shoe haul. We got this Trekking National Park board game. It is brand new sealed. I haven't tested the Howard Miller clock yet, but for $2.99, I'm in. We didn't inventory the concentration game fully, but hopefully it's all there. If not, we're a $4 gamble on it. Hopefully the telco, Mr. and Mrs. Santa here works. Uh, super cool, it still has a box, $7.99. Ended up with a Department 56 piece that just met the threshold of like 35, 40 bucks. And this was kind of cool. I saw this from across the store and I had to have it. And the store was like almost empty and I ended up causing a little traffic jam because I went to where the other two people in the store were way on the other side, 
just to get this, but it's awesome. Look at this, it's a Pokeball backpack for Pokemon, and I just slammed it against the wall. $6.99, uh, I'm not really sure. It is scratched up a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure what we'll get for it, but it should definitely be profitable at seven bucks. What a great day out at the thrift stores. Hey, I like your videos, man. Oh, thank you, yeah. I appreciate that. That's a California king. These are cool. Can't eat that in my diet though. Ooh. Some in Dolce. For three dollars? No. For some reason, I only brought one battery with me. So here's everything I ended up getting at the bin sale. I've got Jess here. Mm. And we got this foam sprayer deal. And it's like for washing your car, which I wouldn't know anything about. As you saw, I got these sugar-free syrup. Um, there's tape on one of them, so that's pretty stuff. This is probably the best thing. Yeah, this is a massage gun right here. And this came out on the second restock. So that was probably the best pickup that I got. It's actually brand new, so it's new, new. Got the Ninja Express shop. It's new in there. The box is open though. Uh, same with this Minecraft lantern potion, not lantern, potion bottle that lights up. Then we got one of these. We've sold a lot of these in the past uh, from Ben Sales. And uh, it's new inside of there. And then we ended up with this uh, California Cane six piece set right here, 1800 premium microfiber. So pretty wow. decent. So, I mean, nothing insane, but uh, an okay stop at the bin sale.